to hop on. And oh, good. Somebody started the recording. <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad it wasn't me because I don't think I have that ability. Um, but yes, go and hop on and tell your teams to come join us. Share the link below um, and have everyone uh, join tonight. So I did not mean to share my screen. Look at that. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I'm just making sure all the features work. Yay, and we're recording now, so I should uh, get my act together. Okay, welcome to Dreamstruck, y'all. It's Tuesday night. We are here tonight to talk about transition. Now, we are um, at, twice a year at Sensi, if you're new or not. Uh, we have, uh, twice a year we change catalogs. So we're gonna go out with the old and in with the new. So this next month, Sensi has brought back the 10% off sale, thank goodness. Um, so everything, almost everything in the catalog will be 10% off uh, this next month. And so what does that mean for you guys? Well, that means um, you need to tell your customers about a sale, I mean, and post it everywhere. So what are the things that are not uh, on, 10% off. Cause, college, perfect uh, bundles, the big bundles um, are not 10% off. So anything that cause, college, Disney, anything that's licensed is not, will not be 10% off. Also, a lot of our LTOs that come out will not be 10% off. It's just what's in the spring, summer catalog. So bars, six packs of bars will be 10% off body products, cleaning products, laundry, um, room sprays, scent circles. What else do we have? Car bars, uh, pods, and warmers that are going away. Um, so we will find out what's being discontinued on July 1st. And July 1st, will they'll produce the discontinued list. That list you wanna print out and you want to uh, screenshot and take, send it to your best customers, especially if there are some scents on there that are going away, because this will be the last chance to get them. So much like this month, we're pushing club really hard, or hopefully you are pushing really, you know, pushing club really hard um, as far as um, bring back my bar goes, right? We want to get people to sign up if they have a favorite bar that's here this month. You want to get them on the bring back my bar um, next month, you want to push all the stuff on the discontinued list. Um, if we use the six pack of regular bar bundle, will that be 10% off? Yeah, so it'll be $27, $3 off. Um, everything will be 10% off. Um, the bundles, all the bundles are included except for the perfect Sensi. So the systems will be 10% off unless you take them for host or credit or host rewards. Those are always at full price. Oh my gosh, Megan has a chicken. Look at that. Um, I'm gonna have to stop watching everybody or I'm gonna get distracted. <laughs> like, oh my God, there's a chicken looking at me. Okay, um, so everything in the catalog. So you'll wanna focus on getting the bars that people love added to their club orders. If other things though are being discontinued, we know room sprays, those types of things, you cannot add those to the club and get them forever. It's only the bars. Um, and one tip that I would love to give you guys that one of my, one of my amazing sales people, <laughs> one of my amazing downline was like the best salesperson in the world. She suggested too, if there are any warmers that come on the discontinued list to message every customer that ordered one of those warmers and tell them now is the time to get an extra dish. Because how many of you get customers that come to you and they've, broken their dish but that warmer is no longer available because they we only keep dishes for so long and so it was genius for her to go through and message every one of her customers and say it's 10 percent off this month um, make sure you grab an extra dish because once this warmer goes away we can't guarantee we'll have a dish anymore and she has she upped her sales 
in discontinued months on dishes, like phenomenally. And ever since she told me that I have done the same thing and my, all my customers, I'd say 75% of them buy an extra dish. So it's just a, a great way to upsell. It's a good customer service. And so I wanted to give you guys that little takeaway um, is Dorothy, would, are you available to talk a little bit about transition and any tips or tricks that you have tonight about transition? Yes, I'm here. Awesome. Yes, I, I got this. Um, so hi, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. We missed you all. Um, I'm excited about transition because if you haven't done follow-ups in a while, now is your time. You know, especially with the 10% off, um, the bars, just, you know, even if the only thing you sell next month are Scentsy bars, um, do it. You know, especially with the sale, everyone, everyone gets so excited about it. And with the scents going away, you know, just like Carol was saying, like go through and see what your customers have ordered over the past couple of months and reach out and let them know like, hey, this scent is going to be discontinued. You can get it now on sale. So you can make that sale in July. And then you can tell them, okay, well, yes, you can add it to your club so you can have it after July. But definitely in the beginning, I like to, what I've been doing, what I had been done previously on transition month is um, made these little thank you packets for my customers, but included like a ton, like I overdid it with just club information so that once they got their order, um, for that discontinued fragrance, then they would say, oh my goodness, well, I can add this to my club. So, so many of my customers did that with Cozy Cardigan um, last transition. And they were just like, wait, what? It's going away and things like that. So um, it really helped for me whenever I put an emphasis. I mean, we always should, but I really, really did it. I put in a bunch of different little inserts and things I had made up about Scentsy Club and the benefits of Scentsy Club. But I did that once they had already ordered that discontinued scent. And then that the last transition was the month that I had the most Scentsy Club's new subscribers for new fragrances and things like that. So definitely take advantage of the fact that the bars are going to be on sale and the fact of um, all of our discontinued scents. So I'm excited. That is fantastic. Yeah. Sorry about that. I, was, I, was, I was looking for you. I didn't see you. <laughs> my, my, my kids are knocking on my door. So <laughs> the about my new office is that they can't, they don't have the code to the door. <laughs> so, that would be nice. I'm hiding out in my son's room tonight. <laughs> So they're knocking, like pounding on the door. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so uh, it was, it's kind of nice, actually. Um, so, uh, oh, Chris says, would you mind sharing your club stuff that you've made up? Uh, sure. Yes, I will go look for it because I'm about to pull it all out. And I'll share it um, here with everybody so that anyone, any of our, our leaders can share it with y'all. Excellent. OK, and then I wanted to show you guys. So when we talk about transition, a lot of people are like, what do you need, right? So we need to cover kind of what do you need for transition. So these are, this is a transition set of testers. So this is the current um, ones that we have for the spring summer catalog. I always order an extra one to have because I have a lot of customers. They love to they just want to smell what's new. So then I can just give them this versus the other bag that has all 80 in there. Um, so sometimes people want to just smell the new. Um, this last transition, they were $20. Unfortunately, I don't think they've told us yet what they're going to be this time, but I'm just going to say it's around 20, 22, maybe 25. Sometimes in the fall, we have more scents. So um, it tends to be a little bit more. Um, but anyway, this is also good because you can buy a set of testers and break it up and make into smaller um, tester sets, like mini ones to send out to people just to try, just to sample and see what Sensi is all about. So people, you'll find now that the world's opening back up, things are um, going well. You don't have to send out all 80 cents. People will just love to smell 10 or 15 cents and be fine with it. So you could literally take this and break it up into five different mini ones just to send out to some people who want to smell and try Scentsy. You can also give these away later on, put a couple in a baggie for a thank you. So it, there's nothing, there's lots of uses for these testers. Um, so you're going to want to order a set of transition testers because if you have a set of testers, most of you 
probably have one set of testers if you purchased, it comes as your kit, right? And I think even the $20 kit came with, right? Or no, it did it only come with a few cents? I think, I think they changed it, but either way, you have some, some testers. Um, what you're gonna do is remove, uh, at the end of July, you'll remove all the ones that are on the discontinued list, and then you'll add this bag into your current testers, and then you'll be all set. You'll be ready for the transition. Then you're going to want to order um, catalogs. Now, um, I'm stingier with catalogs maybe than other people. So I, I don't give out catalogs very much. They're spendy. They're $12 for 25. I give away a lot of showcase brochures because they're flat. They mail easier. They weigh less. Um, and so these are like usually about $5 for 25. So the price difference is better. And then product sheets which I don't have, but maybe somebody has one. Um, product sheets come in a large thing like this. <laughs> I don't know. It's more than a legal size. And it shows everything. They're very, they're paper. They're made out of paper. You get 150 of them for, I believe it was $9 this last um, transition. So those are fantastic. Those are what I put in my mailers every month to mail people. Oh, Teresa has one. Let me let me let let me show you Vanna. Hold on, please. Um, so those are the showcase or I mean uh, product sheets, and they are paper. You get three packs of fifty each. So there's 150 in there. So you can use those for your mailers. Those are excellent to hand out at fairs and shows. I don't know if you have, if you do any kind of events, people come up to you and say, "Can I have a catalog?" And I hand them that because I'm like, I'm damn sure not going to give you a catalog um, unless you buy something from me. <laughs> So I'm super stingy. Um, okay, thank you, Teresa. And um, <laughs> so I know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of mean. I told you I'm mean that way. I do not do, um, I just don't hand out catalogs like that. You gotta buy something for me to get this sucker or have a home party or whatever. You know, that's when I, I save these for my real good customers um, or anything I'm shipping flat rate because if it fits, it ships. <laughs> So then it uh, doesn't cost me any more money. So I shove one of these in there. Um, but product sheets are what I use a lot um, just for marketing. Um, so, cause they're cheap, they're effective. You can spritz them with a room spray. You can leave them about places. You can shove them in magazines, like a bookmark at, you know, the doctor's offices and not be so conspicuous. <laughs> so I use um, product sheets all the time. Um, showcase brochures though are my best friends. These are great because you can see all the warmers on one page. I've literally sold more warmers by giving these out because people can see them a little bit bigger. It does have all the fragrances listed, just doesn't list any um, packages. So that's the only drawback to this, but you can use this also to keep track if you have any inventory. I mark on here what I have. If I have this warmer, this warmer, oh, actually, this is the one I actually do use for, where did that? Maybe that was on my desk and I accidentally put it away. <laughs> Earlier, I was like, well, this would suck to give this to a customer. <laughs> that was, um, <laughs> but anyway, so this is like where I do my inventory. So um, you can see like, I have this one or I want this one. Um, and, you know, and then I've got all this stuff. So it's super good um, to use for inventory purposes. Um, so I do love that. Okay, um, so transition, you're gonna wanna, um, so catalogs and testers will be 10% off next month. So you wanna stock up on those things. Um, it, the rest of the stuff will not be on sale usually. So you can just get it whenever, but add your stuff to an order so that you don't pay shipping. It comes free shipping. Um, just, you know, everybody's probably gonna have an order sometime in September, or I mean, <laughs> September, <laughs> July. I'm in the wrong month. Uh, so people are gonna have an order in July. So just add your stuff then to that. So that way you can um, get those get those supplies and not pay any shipping. Uh, stickers uh, are the next thing that I think we should talk about. Um, anybody wanna talk about fragrance stickers and how to use them and make a list and make sure you get them early? Does anybody have an example of using one? I did, but I... Mine, mine are gone. Wait, I might have one left. Somebody else. Somebody else. Yeah, Kelly, do you use stickers? 
I thought Kelly, Kelly, do you, do you use stickers? Um, no. Um, my stickers, I use them for team gifts more or less um, in weird bundles. The stickers I do do at the beginning of the year with exactly what Carol has. Usually the famous Christina Stanbrook comes up with an amazing design we can all use. And um, I like scavenger hunts and sticking them throughout the catalog and making my catalog fun. But go ahead, Carol. Oh, I had one. I have one here for you to see. So this is, Christina usually makes this half sheet. So it actually prints out of the full sheet. Anyway, it tells them what the new releases are and you can get one of each sticker and put it on here. And then you can put this with your new catalog for the first little bit. Um, and so you, everyone can smell and you don't have to mail testers. Great for summer, great for winter, um, really great for any time because this will mail for a stamp. So you can even put this, put a QR code to link to your website so they can actually just look at everything online if you didn't wanna set out a catalog. Um, but I like to usually send this and this together, fold it in half and put it in a six by nine envelope and mail it for less than a dollar. And people love to see the new catalog and the and then smell all the scents. So these um, these, they said they've significantly stocked up on them again. So fingers crossed, we won't run out of them um, again. But you can go, You as soon as the new catalog comes out, you can look at it, you can find what the new releases are and make your list and be ready to go. So then you can order these as well. And you'll wanna order these at the beginning of July. So then you can get them in, you can get ready and um, you're not rushed, but you can send your new catalog and this out towards the end of next month. Um, we don't wanna send it too early. I usually mail mine after the 20th somewhere between the 20th and the 25th. So that way they can take a look at it and send me their orders of what they'd like before the 1st of um, August. You will order stickers, um, catalogs, testers, all under the Scentsy store, or you can add them to an order. So you will put catalog, um, make sure you choose English and uh, what is it? U S E N, right? Is English or wait? Yeah, an E S. I don't think it matters because we screw it up like 10 years later, even. We all still do it. But I'm pretty sure you want an E N, English, not E S, Espanol. <laughs> so <laughs> you want, um, so don't order the E S. You don't want Spanish unless you live somewhere and you can use those, but I can't. I can't use them here. Um, and so when mailing a showcase brochure, do you print out what the bundles and saves are? I don't, no. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm sure, but I don't. I, they can look online and see what they are. And or I'll bundle and save for them. I just need them to let me know what they'd like. I mean, how many people do you have that order online and they add one single bar, every single bar? They don't even use the six packs of bars. I mean, they order just single bars online. So I don't really think they care. Um, but yes, or, and if, guess what, if you don't want to print this out, my friend does another thing where she just takes a blank piece of paper and puts random things on. So maybe you also have some cleaning stickers from before laundry stickers. Um, she doesn't make it look all fancy like this. She just randomly puts them on a piece of paper and sends them to them. Um, so I just don't think it really matters. Um, on what you send. People love to just scratch and smell. And I've actually had this done for a long time and all of these smell. So I think, I think you know, you can, they don't, they won't go to waste. I've had them for a whole six months and I'm down to my very last one. Okay. Um, anybody else want to share something about transition? Teresa? So I will share um, a couple of things. I uh, came back from Disney, opened up my drawer and found out that I'm sitting on a whole bunch of catalogs. Anybody else out there with a bunch of catalogs still? Um, and so here's the deal. At first I got upset with myself, like how in the world did I overcalculate it? But then I told myself I always overcalculate and I always have more catalogs. And so there's some people, there's two consultants. One consultant A is going to say shred them right now and um, recycle them and use it as, you know, uh, tissue paper of some sort. Consultant B, which is me, is going to say, get them the heck out of your house. And so um, 
even my plan is to get these out starting um, tomorrow, you know, for the month of July. And I'm going to have a little sticker on the front cover saying that the majority of the entire catalog, you know, is 10% off. Um, and so I'm going to get all those out to as many customers that I can think of. And even if I have a few of them left over, whenever my kids have doctor's appointments or anything like that, I will take the old catalog and I will leave it where they have like those little um, highlight magazines and stuff like that in the doctor's office. I will leave these um, out there because everything's not going away. There's a select, you know, fragrances that are going away. There's a lot that's coming back. And so you never know, somebody might look at this catalog and be like, oh my gosh, I want Luna. So um, that's my thought. And I'd like to pass it on to Emily. Emily, what are some tips that you have? Hi guys, I've missed you over the past two weeks. Glad to be back. Um, one thing that's always a big hit for me besides club, and if you've had anybody that has maybe taken a brief pause on their Sensi Club, or maybe they've just said, hey, I need to take a break because I have so much. Now's a perfect time to remind them and say, hey, this is going away. You might want to make sure that you have your club um, reset so that you don't miss out on some of these fragrances that are going away, especially if you know your customers are sort of, I have customers that tend to be seasonal. They're either like love summer fruity type scents. And then I have customers that are like, they only tend to like fall. So you definitely want to make sure you're keeping a pulse on, on who those people are and making sure you remind them that, you know, these scents are going away. Yes, they're 10% off and they don't need to put them in club right now, but they're going to be sad when they can't get them anymore and they didn't stock up. So that's just my plug about club. Um, but something that we're works well for me for people who who aren't part of club is um I call it the buy nine get three deal it's the semi-annual sale you know how Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works has their semi-annual sale and there's always a deal so I've been doing this for years and I always sell a ton of wax it's like the main thing that I kind of repeat transition month is fun for me because I joined Sensi during a transition month. So not only for the kind of the extra join products that come in the starter kit with Sensi, but just, just the sales in general, as, as the other leaders have already mentioned, I like doing the uh, buy nine, get three free. It sounds like a deal, but really all it is is two six packs with the 10% discount built in. As you guys know, with a six pack of bars, we already get the buy five, get one free deal. Um, but in a transition month, that that extra 10% off a six pack as Carol mentioned in the U S is um, $3 off. Well, the cost of a single bar is six. So when you add two together, that gives you another free bar. So, um, they don't necessarily think about that. They'll sometimes say, hey, what kind of sales you have? do you have? And I just say, hey, right now it's our semi-annual sale on wax. We're getting ready to transition into our new catalog. So all of our spring and summer fragrances are um, you know, 10% off right now. And when you buy nine, you get three free. So they're usually like, sign me up. So I'm not just selling one six pack of bars, I'm upselling them to two. So if you've, you know, you've probably seen those flyers floating around before, um, if you've been with Sensi while, if you haven't, if this is your first transition, then give that a try because you'd be surprised at how much people, you know, are willing to stock up when they think that there's, you know, that extra built in discount. Um, and going back to what I was saying about the join special, I actually have someone who's sort of waiting in the wings right now. Normally, I would never tell someone to wait to sign up. Um, however, um, she's using a free kit anyway. So, or sorry, I shouldn't say free kit. She's using the host credits that I've helped her build up so that she can get her kit at no cost. Um, however, that being said, I don't want to set her up for failure or set her up for, you know, her having to spend more money the minute she signs up because we only have basically a month left with the current catalog and then she's going to be required to buy new testers and new catalogs going into July because of transition or the new catalog starting in August. So now is the time to let people know, hey, just so you know, right now when you sign up, not only do you get the current uh, you know, products and testers, you get the extra, the new catalog, you'll get it before anybody else, you know, consultants included, you know, they get the fall winter testers and they get the first kind of sneak peeks at the new catalog. So it's kind of that extra incentive, like consultant perk to, to sign them up 
now. Um, and they feel like they're getting a deal too. Obviously we always kind of have a join special. And of course they can sign up with the $99 kit if they want to, because that does also come with the transition testers. Um, but depending on what angle you're working, just so they know, um, you know, and in case um, there are some of you that didn't know that those extra catalogs and testers come in the, the um, join kit in July. So um, I think uh, that mostly covers it. Oh, there was one thing I did write down. Um, digital catalog. Don't forget, like if, if shipping is an issue or maybe you're watching this and you're a brand new consultant and you're like, I just do not have the money to invest in a, in a whole lot of extra stuff or I can't afford the postage. Believe me, I understand. I'm like a broken record. I live in Canada. Postage is expensive. I can't even mail a catalog for a couple of stamps. It's like four or five bucks a catalog. So that is not happening. Um, whenever the new catalog comes out, I send my digital link. So when you go to your PWS, assuming you have a subscription, um, you would scroll all the way down to the bottom of your PWS and you'll see a little link there. It's clickable. It says view our catalog or view my catalog. And you click that. And what it does is it sends, um, it pops up a, um, a PDF that the customer can click on. And then it gives them a digital version of the catalog. Now what's kind of cool about the digital version of the catalog is that they can actually tap the products inside of the catalog. And when they tap that item, say a warmer or a bar of wax, whatever, um, it will take them to that specific product on your website to purchase. So it's kind of one of those things where they don't have to get the catalog, look at it, then go to your website, then, you know, it kind of cuts out all those extra steps. So especially in kind of this fast paced world we live in, um, everything is right at their fingertips. And if in that moment, they're like, I want to buy something now, that catalog is there, they tap it right away, and they can purchase right away. So um, that is just sort of, I'll just put that out there if you guys, you know, if, or like I said, if, if getting catalogs right away is not something you can do, don't um, underestimate the value of that digital catalog. Now I will um, put a little disclaimer that catalog, the fall winter catalog will not launch on your website until August 1st, when the new catalog launches, if you send that link right now, or in July, it will be the spring summer catalog until the new one officially goes live. So just keep that in mind. I saw somebody ask if, um, so Emily, it comes in the $59 kit and then I, yes, it would come in both kits. They, they would make sure you got testers and catalogs in both kits. Um, the buy nine, get three free workout for Canada. Yes. Cause we get the same bundle discounts that the Americans get. Um, it's just, obviously it's $36 Canadian for, for a set of, um, bars. So you'd be looking at $54 Canadian before applicable tax and shipping, but yes, we can offer the same kind of deal on the bars. So I think, um, I think that's it. That's all I, that's all I had to contribute. I have so already. So I, I will pass it. I saw, thought I saw Amber was. Uh, that was really good. That's so I, I will pass it. Yo, hey, how's it going? So Amber, so I just want to add one quick thing while it, it came to my mind is when our remote can be uh, so, failed. Uh oh okay can you guys hear me okay um one of the things that i wanted to say is as you're promoting the sale for july um this is just a marketing strategy but you can say we have a 10 percent sale that's going on in the month of july that's good but what I prefer to say and what I encourage my team to say is that we have a site-wide sale going on. That sounds a lot more robust, a lot more intriguing, and, um, and it also even though we have a site-wide sale that's going on, uh, that doesn't mean everything is on sale, like the cause and the license product. But we do have a site-wide sale. Okay. And well. if I heard 
Carol, can you mute her? Trying to talk as a little robot. It's it's I want to jump on that side and I want to look at every Hey Teresa. Um so I don't think she either can. way you can't go wrong with the sale, right? So it's you like say well, well, percent <laughs> break. But I just noticed that Where is she? I don't know. I've tried muting her and everything. Um, on, and they really are attractive. <laughs> I'm muted. You know, that <laughs> attraction marking that. I think we're so late. Maybe. When oh, we say sideways. Teresa says she is muted. I know. Because the other thing to do. Is, um, it's a great opportunity. Okay, I think it's catching up. Oh my gosh, it was like delayed. Like it just kept going on and on. <laughs> okay, sorry, Teresa. You're we can't. Well, that was painfully slow, and I don't even know. Um, so we can't hear you. We, it was a robotty. Everybody's like, who's talking? So uh, we want to hear what you had to say. So maybe we. <laughs> I think it is recorded like that, probably. <laughs> Sarah. Okay. Well, Amber, how's your internet? Let's try. Let's try you for a sec, and then maybe Teresa can. Uh, fix fix that and come back and we all right well y'all please tell me if my internet's bad are we okay it's so good thank you <laughs> like literally call me or something you have my number if my internet no i think we just lost teresa too so i think her uh, internet went down so something happened teresa too, and i really want to hear uh what she has to say because she always has such good insight so teresa take two please like move <laughs> and let's do this again um, so I was a little late popping on because we had my husband's birthday celebration tonight. So we just got home from dinner. Um, did anyone talk about last chance first glance? Because if not, that's what I wanted to share. Go ahead. We briefly mentioned it, but we didn't actually go in depth. So. Okay. So that's, I mean, I do, I do all of the other marketing things, all the social media things, all the, you know, smelling and sending things out and stuff like that. But I'm super excited this year to get back to an in-person last chance first glance because, um, you know, last year. I didn't get to do it. So I love to do it the last week of the month. So it would be the last week of July. And I just have an in-person party. It's not anything fancy. In fact, honestly, I don't even have it at my house anymore because to be honest, my kids hate it because people like hang around, hang around. They bring their kids, they go in their rooms and that kind of thing. So we typically go to a place like Panera um, at like three o'clock on a Saturday or something when they're pretty much dead anyway. Um. Oh, look at my big old ears. Teresa told me to wear them today so I could get my $30 worth. Anyway, um, we go there on a Saturday afternoon. It's um, super laid back. I bring the testers. So I bring all the testers, but I put on there like stickers on the ones that are being discontinued. And then I have the new ones as well. Um, I really, really love doing this because it usually solidifies a final order for July and the first order for August because people will order from both, right? They'll order their last chance since, oh my gosh, I can't believe such and such is going away. I've got to get it. Of course, I'll follow up, Cincy Club, all the things, but they'll order a last chance order and then they'll also order a first glance order. So they're getting in their last chance for the current catalog or their last order for the current catalog, their first order for the new catalog. It's a great way for me to show all my local customers uh, what's new. You know, they get that first peak, they come to get their catalog and all that kind of stuff. And it's very, very fun. Of course, not all of my customers are local. So uh, we really talk it up, pop it up on my VIP page. I ask them, hey, while you're at Panera, is it bad again? Or is it bad? Oh, please tell us about Disney. Disney was amazing. Um, I, if I start talking about Disney, I'll be on here for two hours. So 
but it was awesome. Um, anyway, we really hop it up on my VIP page. I tell them while you're here, sniffing the testers, like take pictures for all my virtual sniffers, let them know which are your favorites of the new ones and all that kind of thing. So I do that. I also like to do it at Panera for like two hours because that way, honestly, you guys know, sometimes people don't show up and that has happened to me several times. I get on Panera's Wi-Fi, I bring my work. Right. So if I have a lull where no one's there or if no one comes for the whole two hours, I just sit there and work like and I'm away from my house. I'm away from my kids and all that, that kind of thing. So it's a win win for me. It's like a um, no, no risk if that makes sense. Another thing that I love to do is bag parties are my jam. So as soon as we get that discontinued list on Thursday, I will sticker all of my testers that are going away. And um, I will let all of my hosts know all the testers that have a sticker, this is their last month, July is their last month. So if you see a sticker on something you love, your guests see a sticker on something they love, they need to get it. And of course, that's gonna give me lots more opportunities to follow up for Scentsy Club because I'm all about some Scentsy Club. Okay, I think that's all. I'll stop talking now. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. Oh, that's great. Um, <laughs> okay, I think Teresa is back with better internet. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm really afraid right now. Can you guys hear me? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's okay. so cool. So let me tell you guys, that was creepy because I realized, I started seeing everyone's face and I was like, something's wrong. Something's really wrong. And then I read the chat and I was like, oh, it's really, really wrong. And then I muted myself and I wouldn't shut up. Like I'm watching it and I'm seeing Carol say, I'm muting her and I wouldn't shut up, but it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I was done. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, um, and then we couldn't get it to stop. And we were like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, usually it's just stop. so finally I was like, how can I make this stop? So I just shut my whole computer off because I was like, it's got to stop. And I got my husband and he said that I was on the wrong uh, Wi-Fi setting. Um, we just had this big Wi-Fi makeover. So this would never happen. And it happened anyway. Um, and what I had to say wasn't even that important, but I want to say it anyway. Um, I think Carol was the one that taught us that when we go into a transition month, um, you can do a powerful marketing strategy by saying, Hey, I have a site-wide sale that's going on right now. There's a difference in the power that, that has versus saying I have a 10% sale because some people look at 10% off like, Oh, that's a buck. And it's not just a buck. Everything adds up, um, especially when you um, market the bundle and save. It's not just a buck when you buy five bars and get one free because you're already saving $6 on the, the free bar that you're getting. And then you're saving an additional $3 on the whole set. So that's a $9 saving. And you can do that little, um, you know, uh, savings bit um, on the entire bundle and save, you know, um, options that we have. So anyway, if you, if your friend was to tell you that target had a site-wide sale that's going on right now, you would literally run over there. Um, and if they told you that they had a 10% sale, you would still go over there, but not as fast. You would, you know, wait till the end of the day or something. So I just wanted to share that with you, that there's power in how you communicate it. If you do say 10% sale, it's okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that because it is what it is. Um, but I just feel like there's a little bit more punch, punch and ump when you say I have a site-wide sale that's going on. So I did want to share that and especially monopolizing the bundle and save because they're already saving and there you can save an additional 10% off on almost all of the bundle and save options with the exception of the perfect Scentsy, which are, is two warmers and six cent bars. That's a, already a big loaded uh, savings there as it is. So that's the only bundle and save that I know of that we can't um, uh, apply an additional 10% off of. And to also include, well, actually the licensed bundles, I think the licensed bars in the past and the licensed scent circles were also 10% off, but you never know what's going to happen. We'll find out on um, July the 1st and I'm here for it. So again, I wanted to share that and that really wasn't worth the robot slow-mo uh, matrix that just happened. It was it was totally great. No problem at all. Um, okay, so I want to share something. I've shared this with the leaders so they can post for you guys. Um, I'm going to share my screen. So there have been super great points. So I loved Emily's um, buy nine bars, get three free. That's like having a 10 bar special, but yet not, you know, I mean, so I feel like that 
is such a good thing. You can offer that all month long. Um, Teresa's site-wide sale, that is super great. So um, when we talk about not, don't get rid of your, don't be the type A that gets rid of all of your marketing materials. Anything that you have currently work this next month to get rid of it, or you can use it afterwards, especially in places if you just want to drop information and leave it and see where it ends up. Don't spend your money on new things. So I, um, I have this, uh, they're just return address labels, but it says this catalog just finished, but take a look inside and you'll be sold. If new items are what you seek, call me to take a peek. So you can print this out, use address labels that you have at home and print this out to put on all of your old catalogs, any of your old marketing materials and use that to leave around different places. Everywhere you go, leave them an old catalog. It doesn't matter that it's not new, but you're just using something that you already have in your possession. You've already spent money on it. And I'm a firm believer on using it, recycling it. Um, so I've sent that in our message to all the leaders. So they will have that, they can share with your teams. And, um, but these ideas are amazing. So um, I see Debbie's on. So does Debbie have anything she would like to share? Um, Hi guys. Transition. Hi. You guys are so amazing. So happy to be back here. Um, well, first of all, you guys have covered everything. Everything. I'm like, I don't know what else to say. You guys have said it all. <laughs> because I mean, I'm an events person. And because I'm an events person, I generally stock up on items twice a year because I can get them at a discount. So that's one of the things that I take advantage of during transition time. And just like uh, Teresa was talking about those catalogs, I, I have a ton of catalogs and I just lay those around anywhere. And I don't, I'm so busy. I don't have time to put notes on that, but I always have a label on it and the label will let them see the website. I figure that they can just call me if they if they see something in there, whether it's available or not, they can call me. So I've gotten calls like that. I've gotten orders that way. And another thing I am going to be talking to my team more about is the join link. We're going to hit that pretty hard uh, because what's going to happen is that people will have the advantage of getting orders at a discount coming in. Because so many times we hear people saying, we know the prices are uh, kind of high and this sort of thing. So maybe this will help them for those who are trying to earn a kit. So we're going to hit it hard during this time. And um, I think that's all. Oh, everything else has been said. I'm excited. Thanks, Debbie. Yeah, we are excited too. Um, and yes, I, you know, I stock up on things that aren't going away because you can get a discount and then sell it later on. Um, and so one of the things, uh, somebody asked about scent circles. So our scent circles are, they have different fragrances that are stronger than others. Um, and so we have a newer consultant. She's wondering, you know, they're not very strong. So one of the things I used to make scent circles, by the way, they used to be called car candles and I used to make them in the home office. So I know exactly how they're made. They're actually dipped in the fragrance oil and then they're hung to slightly dry and then put in the plastic. So they are cardboard. They're not really, um, once the fragrance oil is released, you know, once it dries out, it's done basically, but you can refresh them with a room spray. So as long as you're not getting them wet, uh, where they're dripping, you can spritz a sensor, you can spritz a scent circle on each side with one squirt of a room spray and refresh it. So I sell a lot of car kits where I sell a scent circle and then a room spray because the room spray, they can also spritz around their car and or anywhere else they want a fragrance. You can spritz room sprays on yourself. Don't tell anybody I said that, but I mean, well, actually this is recorded and it's going to be on YouTube. So I just said it, but whatever. Um, it's not necessarily recommended, but I sprayed myself with a room spray earlier and I'm not dead. So <laughs> here we go. Um, so, <laughs> but anyway, I love room sprays. I love room sprays so much. And I, so I spritz them. I refresh my scent circles with a room spray and and so that, and I've done that for 15 years. So, and I, and I sell my customers on it too. And they love it because room sprays have like 150 squirts in them. It's a lot for $8. And so there's, there's no problem, but I do give scent circles as thank yous. I put thank you sticker on there. I write a note 
thank you, you're amazing. And I give these out to a lot of my customers, but I also put a little sticker on that says, refresh me with a room spray um, to continue to use them. So then that way um, they're gonna keep it and, and use it some more. Um, and then I do love mini fans and pods are my fave in the car as well. Um, so it's an excellent upsell opportunity either way. Um, they're just super fun things for you. Okay. I feel like there's two things I didn't touch on the transition and I wanted to, since we're nearing the end of the time, I just want to double check something really quick. So we talked about catalogs. We talked about testers. We have talked about, um, things that will be on sale, how to update your kit, 10% off and exclusions business supply suggestions. Uh, we talked about the starter kit, when to uh, sales kits. So sales kits have not been announced if they will be available. It's if, nice to be in person. Oh, stop it, Siri. Um, if, <laughs> uh, if you earned earn, or are, are earning the summer incentive, we have one day left, uh, that's how you'll earn a sales kit. That's how you haven't talked to it. They haven't told us yet. If they haven't told us yet. Right? Is that right? I, feel like I think they said that they will not be available. The warmer kits won't be available. So that way we have the proper inventory going into the catalog, but we will have the fragrance bars, the scent bars available. Okay. okay. Perfect. So you will at least be able to get the scent kit, which means you can get the bars in early um, if you'd like. So that will be available. There'll be more information on the news tab. So you just stay tuned to that news tab because they're going to give you lots of information. Um, but I just encourage you, do not share the new products too soon. I know we kind of touched on that. Like I don't send the catalog out until the 20th of next month because you will kill your July sales. So really just don't, don't sneak peek people of the new stuff. Um, say that if, unless you're really working on booking August parties, then you could text your hostess a sneak peek, but don't text them new warmers that are coming out that they can't buy for a whole nother month. Okay. So really focus on July in the current catalog, what's going away, the 10% off sale, the discontinued list, um, get people stocking up on things that are going away, um, so that they'll have some stuff. And um, transition, uh, some of the things, uh, one of the things people look at all the stuff on Sensi Success and think, do I, you know, do I need to buy everything? As a new consultant, um, or if you have more of a frugal budget, the main things that you wanna focus on during transition are your catalogs, your testers, and pretty much that's it. I mean, if you wanna buy some other things, don't get caught up in all the hats and the blankets and the dog leashes and all this stuff when you're just getting started in your business. We want you to buy the things that will make you money. Okay, you don't need a, you don't need a ton of expensive branding items. You literally just need the things. And so don't spend your family money on Scentsy. Spend your Scentsy money on your family. Okay, so um, I know it can be so overwhelming, but you really need some brochures, testers, stickers. And, and that's pretty much it. Okay. So don't get, oh my gosh, I need to buy everything. <laughs> okay. Um, and anyone else have any final thoughts, anything I missed or any questions, throw those in the chat. Um, stickers would be. I did, yeah. I did see, um, a question from Sarah. She's been so active in the chat and I just want to say thank you, Sarah. Um, but since we did have a few more minutes left on the tail end, um, she wanted to know how Disney was. And like Amber said, we legit could spend three hours and we're not going to do that to you guys because you'll jump off no matter how great it was. But I figured what I did want to do is kind of go around to each that were, was there. And if you could just say one of the best highlights of that experience. And the reason why I want to do that is um, I want to put a plug in for Sensi Family Reunion. Um, we have a registration that's going to close on July the 16th. I think it's July 16th. 
um, or the 13th. Either one, it's going to be closing and they're going to be announcing the very next incentive trip. And so actually, if we can kind of um, start with Carol, because Carol did not go to Disney. And um, maybe if you don't mind telling everyone where you did uh, elect to go and what was your highlight of that incentive trip, because we're going to find out where we're going next soon. So you guys can get ready for that. Okay. Uh, her face is so frozen. We'll um, come back. Carol? Or Carol's still muted. Am I muted? So you didn't go to Disney, but where did you go? <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. I stayed home. <laughs> so uh, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't, I didn't, I stayed home. Oh, uh, okay. I thought you went to Colorado. No, I didn't go to Colorado. That was other people, not me. Okay, 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 gotcha. No worries. Amber, Amber, what was your highlight of Disney? Oh, it is so hard to pick one. But as soon as you started saying that, I knew what it had to be. I'm going to try not to cry talking about it for real, but I told Clint, I told my husband, if they freaking do fireworks for us, I'm going to lose my crap. And that's exactly what happens when they did fireworks over the castle for us as the sun was rising. Who, see, who gets to see that? First of all, second of all, that was the first time Heidi and Orville said it in their live from London the other day. That was the first time Disney's done fireworks since the pandemic started. I don't need to say anything else. It was just for us. Yeah. It was only Cincy people there. So I got yeah. <laughs> that. That was. Really cool. um, I heard that the last time that they ever did fireworks was March of 2020, before the pandemic hit. And so for them to open up fireworks for us, just Cincy, was just absolutely amazing. So thanks for sharing that very. Um, quickly, Amber, and I'll pass it on over to Dorothy. Dorothy was there too, and we got to see her family and her husband, Carlos. What was the highlight of your experience last, or a couple of weeks ago at Disney? Um, for our family. Is still there? Yes. Yeah, she's still here. Can you hear me? Okay, awesome. So for our family, it was the Cincy only access to the parks. So I was there with my five kids, husband, and my daughter's fiance. My daughter actually got engaged there at Disney World. Um, she she is a team member on my team, and she earned it. And she bought her boyfriend at the time um, to Disney World, and he had told us ahead of time that he was planning the whole big thing. And um, so they actually got engaged at um, Be Our Guest restaurant we all were there for lunch so it was really really neat I'm about to cry <laughs> but um it was a great time and um but for us but for us with me having my younger kids my older kids and everything the only access, only access that was huge for us we um Thank you. We, um, it was so, um, it was so much fun for all, all of us to be able to get the rides, you know, no lines, no weights or anything like that. And we are a huge Star Wars family. So I don't know if you guys know that to the, to get on the rise of the resistance, I think it's what's called, I don't know, my husband or my son will correct me, but, um, to get on that Star Wars ride, you know, you have to register ahead of time, like first thing in the morning to be able to build a droid you have to make reservations and way far in advance and my daughter had told me well mom you didn't make the reservations I was like I don't know I was supposed to and then like the last couple of weeks we found out since he told us we they've arranged it to where we didn't even have to make reservations to build the droid so that was huge I mean to be able to have these types of experiences with our whole family I mean we were just on cloud nine the whole time now granted I did have my new six-year-old was she just turned six and she was done probably after the second day <laughs> but the rest of us i mean it was amazing and we were so thankful for the Cincy only events where that we could just go and they could jump on the rise the last the last night of animal kingdom was great with a character meet and greet at the end now that's she was just in love with that with meeting all the characters they had the big bubble machines outside and she was just dancing in the bubbles i mean 
it was it was just perfect. It was just perfect. So if you have never earned incentive incentive yet, you need to be glued to um, um, family reunion and when we find out where we're going next, and you won't want to miss that. Yes. Um, am I still a robot or am I okay, Dorothy? Still a robot. robot. Still a robot. Am I okay, Dorothy? Do I say? All right. I'm bad. I think it's still bad. But, well, okay. So I have to share what Dorothy said about the resistance. So my friends were also in Disney the same time Sensi was. And the rise of the resistance sold out it, like they're full in 30 minutes. So they never got to ride that ride at all. And they okay. weren't with Cincy. So they, but they were like literally legit. It sells out in 30 minutes in the morning. Okay, know that. And so, yeah, they, we would have that. <laughs> guys didn't experience it was, amazing, though. it was amazing we went to disney five years ago when star wars had um their first ride i don't remember what it was called then but it was completely different and this was like nothing like nothing i have videos of it i mean it was just amazing so we're a star wars family so sorry getting all excited all over again i think it's fantastic i thought it was so great i loved watching everybody so i was sad i didn't get to go to disney this time but um I was, I would, I just like watching everybody have such a good time. So it, it brings me joy to see everybody. Um, so uh, Teresa says one of her favorite moments was hugging Heidi and Orville, of course. Yeah, because now they're gone. They're in, in Europe. Um, and I know some people like Emily couldn't go, she said, because the border's still closed. I know a lot of people took the cash money because it helped them do some really important things um, at their home or whatever they were doing. I know Debbie, I think she took the money because she said she's going, it was going towards her car. So um, a lot of times they don't, you know, some people just decide I'd rather have the money. And, um, and if you do ever earn a trip and you're solo, a lot of times you can, you earn for one, maybe you don't earn for anyone else. I really want to suggest to you that you still go. So for 15 years, we've gone on incentive trips and um and this was the first well last year was the first year we never went <laughs> and then this year i didn't go and and so um but a really i i encourage people who only earn single to still take the trip don't take reunion don't take the smaller buyout because the trip is something you can't replicate no matter what and one year i took um, reunion because I thought I just earned for myself I'm just going to go to reunion it's going to be great well we it was when we were in St. Louis and our hotel was not the best one that, that we got because they were limited and I chose this hotel when we checked in it, and now this isn't normal since the um, rooms by any means so I'm not trying to paint a terrible picture I'm telling you how bad this is how bad it was though there was a pizza box and I think somebody died in the hotel room that I ended up with and uh, but I chose that over going to the Bahamas and to the Atlantis um, going to the Atlantis resort <laughs> and so y'all <laughs> I was I, I was kicking myself the whole time I'm in this hotel room that like isn't amazing and I'm thinking, I should have took Atlantis. This should have been me. I should have been sliding down a big water slide instead of sitting in this hotel room. So I have regretted some of my choices. And so always take the trip. That is one of my one suggestion to you is that always take the trip. It's going to be, you can't, you can't replace memories. Money will come and go. The things that you buy with the money will come and go, but you cannot replace the memories that you get. Okay. We are at the top of the hour. I want to thank you guys for joining us. I hope you've learned a lot. You probably learned facts you didn't even want to know um, tonight. And so we are so thankful that you took the time to join us and to stick with us to talk about transition. And I cannot wait in two days to see this new catalog. It's going to be epic. And so um, I can't wait to see your guys' reaction next week. So we'll talk about the new catalog, I think, next week. Okay. Bye, everybody. Have a great night.